Oh my god! Oh my god, it's a Graboid! No, don't kill me, Graboid! What's up, colonists? This is KG48, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Osiris New Dawn. This is actually going to be Season 2 for me. I played this game a long time ago. We'll talk about that later. First of all, let me just give you a quick intro to what this game is about, if you're not aware. Um, space Survival Crafting Building. Hey man, that's all I need to know. Let's get started. If you haven't been joining the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. So this game does have single player and multiplayer. Obviously, I'm by myself, so we're going to get started on a multiplayer world. And we now have classes in this game. Like I said, I played this game a long time ago, and uh, none of this stuff was here. It was very basic, bare bones. The game just came out uh, in early access. It's still in early access. Um, but right now, I think this might actually be beta. I'm not really sure. But anyway... Uh, I did have to opt into the beta when this first came out, so it could actually be beta. I don't know. Anyway, you do start off with four uh, classes to choose from, and there's going to be three skills in the game. It's going to be science, engineering, and combat. Okay? Uh, the scientist... Now, when you start off with a, with a character, they're going to have more points to spend in each you know category, uh, depending on what they are. The scientist is going to have more points in science and uh, less points in engineering and combat. The ranger is uh, you know jack-of-all-trades. The Marine will get more combat than anything else, and the Engineer will get more engineering than any, anything else. Now, I played this game a, like a month or two months ago when it, when, it, when, it was in the, when it was in the beta, early access beta branch. And I gotta tell you, the one thing I had trouble leveling up more than anything was combat. Now, I think Engineering and Science is probably a little bit uh, more important, but because of combat, I had a trouble, uh, I had trouble you know, leveling combat. We're gonna go ahead and... We're going to pick a marine, a male marine. Each uh, character starts off with different things. The scientist starts off with a, um, can I actually click on that? Uh, I don't think I can click on that. It starts off with a, I guess it's a mining tool and a knife. This guy starts off with a, the ranger starts off with a sniper rifle and some kind of hatchet sword uh, machete. I'm not really sure. Uh, the guy I'm going to start off, uh, the marine starts off with a rifle and a combat knife, like a Rambo-style combat knife. Do the females start? No, they get the exact same stuff. So that's, you know, that's cool. And the engineers start off with uh, whatever the hell this thing is. I forget what that's called. That, that's a really good item, though. I forget what it was called. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and pick a marine. Let's go ahead and confirm. All right, um, what are my colors going to be? My primary color is going to be... Let's uh, have the detail color be black. See how that looks? Now, will the detail color be red? Yeah, that looks good. Secondary color, black. Maybe, let's see. I do like black and red. Nah, 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 nah. That's going to be white, and then the primary color is going to be black. I just like black and red. Forget white. Um, what kind of glow? That's a fine That's a fine glow. I like that black and red. Guy looks badass. Let's confirm. All right, so this stuff, we're just going to make our height. We're going to randomize and get some kind of random crap there, and then what we're going to do is we're going to make our height all the way up because we want to be big, and everything else is fine. Confirm. Now we have our starting points. Now, now speed, uh, speed, strength, and stamina are all going to be for mobility. All right, I'm going to stay away from health in the very beginning. I'm going to go with I'm going to go with mobility. All right, so we're going to go with two with speed. Strength lets you carry more, and stamina obviously lets you not run out of stamina. So I'm going to go with two stamina. Then we'll go another two in speed and two in strength. I think that looks pretty good to start off with. Let's confirm. And this is the uh, skill point tree, okay? So as, as we said, we're going to have more points in combat. So let's see what we want to do in combat. Now, just because it's a combat tree doesn't mean it's not going to have craftable stuff. Actually, the combat tree has the uh, ground turrets. Now, I don't know if other... I don't know if other trees have any kind of, like, uh, other turrets. I don't really see any really quick, but I haven't looked through this extensively. Um, one thing we're going to want here, though, is we're going to want the furnace and the workbench. So we're going to go ahead and put a point in stone axe, uh, which is a... Pl uh, Unlocks the ability to craft a stone axe. Uh, stone axe is a melee weapon. Craft, uh, craft table, craft table on your person. I guess you need to craft in a crafting table. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and pick that. Then we're gonna go ahead and pick the furnace. Um, unlocks the ability to build the furnace. Furnaces are simple yet effective ways to make use of high temperatures. And then we're gonna go with the workbench. And that's all I'm gonna do for for now. In this, I'm gonna wait until I need stuff and then look it up rather than spend points and stuff I might not need. Um, the, uh, the science, the science tree has a lot of really interesting stuff. The science tree has laser cells, heat cells, and reactor cells. Those are like, um, those are, uh, it's basically ammo for your weapons. Um, we also want to get the bandages ASAP. As a matter of fact, I might make a beeline for bandages. Um, beacons are important too. 
Um, but I think bandages are more important, and we're probably going to want... Uh, yeah, let's go for bandages. Can we get the bandages? We cannot. we got to get some more points in science. There's different ways to get points in different things. Um, I have some ideas on how to get points. Uh, like I said, I played this two months ago, and I figured out good ways to level each skill. Um, but I don't remember. I'll, I'll, I'm going to give it a shot, though. We'll see. I think... I think the way I leveled science was to fill up and release gases. Basically, you can make these big containers, and you can fill them up with gas, and then you release it, and then you refill it up with gas. And I believe that uh, ups your your science every time you do it. So, All right, so for the uh, crafting section, the uh, building crafting section, we're definitely going to go with the chisels, and we absolutely need depositories for storage. Other than that, uh, well, we're going to want the barrels as well, but I don't know about any of this other stuff. We're going to save the rest of our points and only spend it when needed so we don't uh, accidentally spend more points than we want to. Cage 848. Okay, confirm. Okay, so the universe name is Osiris. Let's call it Season 2. I think this is Season 2. Could be Season 3. I'm not really sure, to be honest. I, I think it's Season 2, though. Um, this says modes. I don't know why it's not letting me pick them. I guess that would be if it was a multiplayer game. And then you've got difficulty. We're going to go to custom. All right. We're going to bump up experience. So we're going to bump up some of this stuff to make the grinding a little less uh, uh, punishing. But we're not going to go too crazy with it. Um, experience up. Uh, resource. Uh, let's, go, let's, take out, let's take down fall damage a little bit. Resource yield up. Um, I like the alien population is dangerous. I like that. Uh, damage is normal. I like all of that. Um, structure tool, hover, I think, oh yeah, that's right. Hover fuel consumption, uh, low, and hover duration, we're going to put that up a little bit. Uh, that means we can, like, uh, use our, our, um, I think they're, like, little, uh, little, uh, r rockets in your shoes that kind of, like, let you float along, and it, it helps a lot, so. A little bit of changes there, I think that'll be pretty good. Oh, I should get more stat points per level, too, because I'm playing single player. We're going to go up to three with that. Uh, one more stat point per level because we are playing single player. Who knows? Maybe some of these stat points uh, setups are for uh, multiplayer. So anyway, we're going to go to create and we're going to start a game again, guys. We crash landed on this planet. We got to survive. We got to eat. We got to drink. We got to we got to keep our uh, keep ourselves in oxygen. We have some kind of re oxygen thing on us though because you don't have to actually get oxygen in this game. So I'm not really sure how that works, but um, yeah, you know I don't think you have to worry about oxygen. Although, again, my experience in this game is very very limited. Okay, here we are. We just crash landed. Uh, we need to find patch. We need to find tape to patch ourselves up. We just grab some tape. Let's go to number three and patch. There we go. So now we're not losing oxygen anymore. Now we gotta basically the, the tape was right in front of me and I just picked it up. I didn't want to take time doing it because when your when your screen is cracked, your oxygen, the thing right in the bo middle bottom of the screen, uh, goes down and you will die. So we're gonna go ahead and pick this up as well. There's the bandages. That's on number four. We're going to go ahead and use the bandages to heal. All right, we're going to try and exit the pod. It is not going to let us. So we're going to hit number six, take out our, uh, what is it, chisel. Break down the door with the chisel. There we go. You can see we're getting combat experience as we, as we break down the door. So let's get out of here, and here we are. All right. We got our little robot right here. We're going to tell him to follow us, and uh, we're going to look around and be like, oh, man, crazy planet. Look at how close these other planets are. Anyway. First thing you want to do is uh, start breaking apart this uh, anything you can. Uh, gather space debris. Gather some. Uh, gather some rubber. Uh, I think if I think if it flows. I think if it like uh, has a red outline, you can break it. There we go. Red outline. You can break it. Very good. And we're just gonna uh, we're just gonna break everything here. Oh, take it easy there, man. What's your name? What is your name? Do you have a name? No. You you are a repair droid. You don't have a name. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to think of a name for you. Okay, I've broken up everything I can find off of the ships around me. So I'm going to go ahead and now pick up things that are on the ground. You can also break open, break up the debris on the ground. It's for uh, space debris. It's not just debris, guys. It's space debris. I love it when people call stuff something with the word sp with the name space in front of it. It's the freaking best. I love it. I used to play this game called Imperion, and um, and they used to have these things called uh, space oranges. Which was freaking hilarious because uh, they weren't they weren't even in space they were on a planet, <laughs> but they they were on a planet but they were still called space oranges. I just I love that. So the fact that it's called space debris is awesome. Um, it just makes me so happy. Oh, we got stuff under here. Can we grab that? Uh, no. Can I grab that? It looks like something I can grab. Is there a duck? Yeah. All right. Don't think I can get that. Probably not important. All uh, right. So let's go ahead and. Oh yeah, it is. It's uh, it was actually r rations, but that's okay. 
I will get plenty of rations. So we're gonna go ahead and pick up the rest. Look at my footprints. That's cool. I can't see my feet, but I can see the footprints they leave. That's pretty, uh, it's pretty messed up, man. There we go. And grab some more of this stuff. We got some health kits. Looks like, uh, when the ship crashed, it just kind of spewed out all this crap all over the, uh, all over these sand dunes, you know? All right, so let's grab that. Let's grab this. And I think that's the last thing, right? It's the last thing I can see. All right, let's take a look at our let's take a look take a look at our UI and inventory screen. Okay, suit suit readings. All right, so right here we've got temperature. All right, we've got thirst and hunger. We've got pressure, suit pressure, and then we've got health. Okay, down here we have all these different things we can craft. We'll get into that later. For now, this is all the stuff that I grabbed off the ground. Um, there's that really good rifle. I want to. I want to move things around my inventory a little bit. I, the first thing I want to be a rifle. No, actually, no, yeah, rifle. Fighting right, fighting stuff first. Rifle, pistol, um, uh, healing bandages, duct tape. I'm going to put this, this thing right here is really cool. It's a locator and it'll show you a map. Really, really handy. I'm going to put that on the last thing. And then uh, right here, I'm going to put my tool. And I think the best tool I have is a chisel. Uh, powerful tool used for mining ores. Damage 3 plus 130% critical. Okay. And we also have a melee weapon. Um, I think I'm going to use the melee weapon too. Instead of the, instead of the pistol. Maybe I'll use the pistol first and switch to the rifle when I really need it. Alright. So. Uh, what else do we, what else do we have in here? We've got loadout. We've got crafting. We've got our skill tree. This crafting window is different than this crafting window. This is more like a building thing over here. And this is more like actual crafting stuff you're going to need. Oh, uh, here on the right, we got my name, my level, uh, where I am. I'm on Soul One, uh, nine hours to next Soul. I'm not sure what that means. Um, uh, this is a colony thing. It's all multiplayer stuff. I'm not gonna mess around with that. These are missions I have. These are my points. I have some more. I have some more points. So we're gonna put some more points in uh, speed, strength, and stamina, and we'll start putting a couple points in health. I, I do want to pay attention to my health. Uh, I obviously do not want to die. That would not be. That would not be fun. Uh, these are the amount of points I have to put in combat stuff, engineering, and science. All right, guys. If you look on the left hand of my left hand side of my screen, uh, it's got some missions. Wants me to toggle camera perspective. There we go. Yeah, I look pretty badass. Well, except for the way I'm standing, it's kind of weird. But anyway, uh, make landfall. Okay, so we need to get to land. So make landfall. I guess the idea is that what I'm on right now is kind of like an ocean. Think of it as an ocean of sand, or maybe a dried out ocean bed. Probably not a dried out ocean bed because it would be lower if that was the case. So let's make land. There we go. We got the level up. Let's take a look around. Can we hit this? Yes, we can. Did that just hurt us? I don't think it did. Uh, the UI is a little bit weird in this game. It's hard to see your stats a lot of the time. I'm not sure if there's something I can do about that. Um, like right now, the, in the middle of the screen is the oxygen thing. And on the left of the screen is all my stats. I can't see either of them. Right? It's a little bit troublesome. If there's a way to, if there was a right, if there's a way around that, um, let me know in the comments, please. All right, so we're gonna look around a little bit here for a minute, just to hold down the space bar for your, for your jet boots here. Watch. Oh, actually, it is on my, it's on my, um, it's on my backpack as well. But it, no, it's just, the, it's just the boots. See, nothing happens with the backpack. All right. So let's come on over here. Uh, I'm not gonna play in third person. Let's come on over here and what is it? Five. There we go. We got our first mineral. And we're going to go ahead and mine this, and we've earned some proficiency, uh, and we also got uh, magnesium, aluminum. Um, if you look at the top of the screen, I'm getting engineering points and player points. That's why you don't really need to be an engineer, because you got to mine stuff anyway. I mean, I don't know a lot about this game. Maybe maybe I'm talking on my ass here, but it doesn't seem that engineering is that big of a deal, because you're going to mine stuff all the time anyway, so you're going to get engineering points pretty quickly. Now, oh, there we go. Got some magnesium, got some aluminum. Or aluminium, as some of you guys might like to call it. Whoa. What was that? Oh, I'm under attack. Okay. Here we go. Let's gut this son of a bitch. There you go. Yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get, buddy. All right, so we're going to loot him. We got some talons. We got some meat. Very good. Um, you are injured. You must heal. I'm not that injured. Am I actually injured injured? Like, is something hurt? Or is it just my hit points are down? See, it's just my hit points are down. Do I really need to heal that? I mean, I guess I will, but... Just so the game will shut up. Anyway. Alright, so let's take a look at our quests. Wants me to make a furnace and find Osiris base. Are we going to find Osiris base first before we make anything? We're going to like kind of stay in that area. 
Um, right now, though, let's take a look at our map. If you look on the map here, the little blue icons are basic resources. And if you see red icons, those are uh, the rarer resources. Okay. Also, when your little map is out, if you left click, look at the top right hand side of the screen. See Osiris Space 1 um, tells you how many uh, meters and everything and shows you the direction. If you left mouse button, like it says, it'll switch between other points of interest you have set up. Starting position, respawn position, Osiris Space... Uh, per, my personal... Oh, crap. I got to go get my robot. I totally forgot. I left my poor robot out there. Can you believe that? Okay. Can I get anything out of these uh, these plants right here? Let's take a look. Anything? No? There we go. There we go. We got some blue blue leaves. Blue leaves are definitely good. I forget what we need those for, but I think we need, I think we need them for health kits. I think we need some blue leaves and some, like, red apples or something. I don't know. Oh, let's, let's look it up really quick. Because uh, med... These are going to be really important. Makeshift bandages. Um, blue leaves and red berries. There you go. I was actually pretty close. There we go. Looking good. All right, guys. I got my robot with me. Let's uh, head on out to the Osiris base. Osiris one base. We're gonna check out some of these trees over here. Uh, trees can have, uh, I think it's sap, and you can you can use that uh, for hydration, which is really important. If I remember, last time I remember playing this, hydration was the first thing that I was running out of. What is this? A reinforced crate out here in the middle of nowhere. What's What's the dealio with this? Oh, wow. It's got a lot of good stuff in it. All right, take all. Don't mind if I do. I'm at 87 of 100. Uh, wait, so that's not good. Um, that's okay, though. We can get rid of some of the uh, stuff we mind if we have to. All right, so let's see if we can get... Uh, I definitely want to continue gathering these blue leaves. There we go. Come on. There we go. And uh, I'm going to check out one of these uh, trees over here for the sapling. Or sap. I think it was on top of the tree. I don't, oh, I can, can I mine this tree? Hold on. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, there's the red berries. There you go, people. Red berries for days. We got a heal. Uh, we already have a lot of healing items. I'm not going to make these uh, crappy healing bandages just yet. There's no point. All right, so over here is where you can get the sap. Uh, so let's get on up there. Okay. And I guess you just... Uh, oh, F. Requires liquid container. Okay, I think I have one of those. Look at me. All prepared. Number five. There we go. Storage container is full. Oh, it's full of water. Okay, well, I guess we don't need that then. <laughs> that makes sense, right? <laughs> okay, guys, this is how I remember getting my science up last time I played a couple months ago. So, what we do here is we take one of these, you go up to a geyser, I guess it could be whatever, but I'm going to do hydrogen, and you hold it down, and if you look at the top part of the screen, science! Science! Now, how do we release it? That I don't remember. Uh, I think we got to click on it, right? Right click, empty. Oh, God! Oh, God. Meteor shower. Robot, you scared the crap out of me. And the meteor shower scared the crap out of me, too. There's a lot of host hostile things on this planet. All right, so let's go ahead and right-click and empty out. There we go. And then we just bring this back up again, and we get more science. There you go. Look at the science. Science and player experience. That's how you get science, guys. So uh, mining rocks will get you engineering. And this will get you science. I really don't see a good reason not to, not to take combat. Because combat's the hardest thing. Um, it seems to go pretty slow. You gotta fight. Losing, you're losing health. All that good stuff. So, um, yeah. I, would, I, I think Marine is good. Although Ranger wouldn't be too bad either, I guess. I think Marine's better, though. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's a Graboid. No. Don't kill me, Graboid. Wow, that was, that was really freaking close. I don't know if I was running in the wrong direction or what, but <laughs> usually usually when the grab whites come out, um, if you just keep walk, running in one direction, they don't even get close to you. I don't know what I was doing wrong there. I, that was... I kind of got that, you know, feeling in your stomach when you're falling, you know? Oh, that was, that was pretty... Oh, what is this? A satellite. Okay. I will take the satellite. Okay. That, that was all that was, was batteries, huh? Okay. Well, fair enough. We got a circuit board. Anything else? Yeah, there we go. Some more batteries. Batteries are really good. Batteries are really good. I think we could take apart that. That that robot is really scaring me. Every time I turn around, I think it's an enemy. Last time, when I first played this game, the robot was in the game. But when I play when I first played this game, it was like over a year ago. When I played it recently, it was a couple months ago. And when I played it when I played it a year ago, the robot was in the game, so I was used to him. When I played it two months ago, he wasn't. So now I'm not used to having him around, and he's kind of scaring me. Oh God. Oh God. What the hell is that? 
Oh god, it's another Graboid! I didn't even see him! Man, these guys are all over the place! Never a dull moment, right? Am I right, droid? What should I call the droid? I don't know. Guys, give me some ideas for the droid. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep calling him droid. And that, that's gotta be... You know, in the future, where robots probably are respected um, and probably have rights, uh, it, it might be racist to call him droid. You know? Like, I mean, you guys play Fallout 4? It's like calling them synths synths, you know? It's, it ain't right. It ain't right, I tells you. What the heck is this thing? Look at this. What is this? Oh, by the way, I do have a light. I did bring out my rifle. Um, I'm actually going to put the rifle away. There was one hostile alien I was a little bit nervous about. Um, but I already passed him. So I'm going to put the rifle away. And, and you pr just press L if you want to take out the light. All right, so what's over here? So the base is over there. I, I kind of saw it earlier. It's like uh, right over there somewhere. But um, yeah, let's go to base. For, oh, my God. Wow. And I actually turned down the falling damage. You're injured. You must heal. Now screw that, dude. I'm only down a quarter health. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> I freaking heal. I wonder if I wonder if I'm um, eating does any healing for you. I mean, I'd like to just wait until I'm hungry and eat. That's that's what I usually do in my other survival games. All right, let's get on up here. Let's get to this base. Let's start a base. We got to do the mission. We got to we, uh, we got to do the furnace for the mission. Um, let's see where this it must be close. It's gotta be right around here. I don't even know if this is a good spot to build a base. It probably isn't. But, I don't know. Yeah, oh, that's another thing, guys. Um, I could really use some help. I'm going to build like a kind of a makeshift base here, but I don't know if it's where I want to stay. I just leveled up, by the way. But I don't know if this is actually where I want to stay. Does anybody have a map for this game? I found a map for the game, but it was it was the old map before they updated it, so it's kind of useless. Um, if I could get a map for this game, or even locations, that would be wonderful. Um, let me know in the comments, please. This video will be going up tomorrow, which is uh, Thursday, and then my next video will be going up Saturday. So I'll probably be recording that Friday. All right, here we are, guys. Here we are. We're at Osiris One Base. Oh, what do we got over here? Oh, my oxygen's low. Stop running. What do we got? What is this? A raid. A raid corpse. Can we move him around? No. We could just take his stuff. Alright, so I think we got some chests out here. I don't even think I have to make a chest. So, oh boy, hold on. Hold on, it's getting real. I see one of those those guys out there. Alright, we're going to kind of stay away from him. Alright, so we got we got a lot of stuff in this chest. Uh, should we take it all? We're kind of heavy. Um, why don't we take all of this, and then we're going to put the heavy stuff away, which is probably... Uh, is that total weight? Only one? Yeah, it is. Wow. What's weighing me down? It's got to be this, right? Vitals dropping. Vitals dropping? What? You are injured. Really? Still, I got to heal. Whatever. All right. I'll heal the the quarter hit points just to shut you up. I don't know what the big deal is. All right. Uh, so what is weighing me down? Let's take a look. Better stay over there, buddy. I don't want to have to come over there and end you. All right, guys. The first thing we're going to do here is we need a place to save, I believe... Uh, right here we can make a debris hut. There's there's all kinds of huts you can make. I'm gonna make a debris hut right here. Sounds pretty good. Uh, now cancel, confirm, rotate, rotate. Okay, so that's fine. That looks pretty good. Hold down the F button. Hold the button longer. Uh, wait, what? Hit hold action button longer. Okay. So you press the, you press the action button once, which is the F key. You press it again, and you have to hold it down. Right. Now what does this do? Sets spawn point. Ready. Okay. Activate. There we go. Now we have a spawn point. What did that say? Unavailable for five minutes. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Come here, robot. Come here. I want you to stay. Get on my nerves. Stay right here. All right. So what, why don't we? now that we've done that, why don't we go ahead and do the quest and uh, build a furnace? Let's see where we can find a furnace. Uh, that looks like a furnace to me. Uh, I'm going to go over and kill that guy, I think. Uh, what do I want to build the furnace? Uh, I don't even know if I'm going to be staying here. Like I said, you guys got to let me know. Um, somebody said I should go live ne next to a rubber tree. Uh, there's th Someone said there's only one rubber tree in the game, but I, I don't know. Um, how do we... Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. So you can make it different heights. I'm just going to make this over here. All right, so let's do it this way. That looks pretty good to me. Once, hold it down. Now we made a furnace. Mission complete. Let's take a look at this furnace. Now I put a bunch of my stuff in this box over here. Um, we're now going to take this out. By the way, the thing that was r holding me down was the steel. 
There we go. And we're going to take this stuff over to the furnace and start smelting it up. All right. This is all stuff you can make. So right here we've got aluminum, iron. Let's do the iron first. So we can do one at a time. Can we do five at a time? Hmm. So you left click to, to set up the ingot and you right click to let it to... To un oh, I don't remember how you do this quick. Okay. Left click it to add one. Right click it to unadd one. All right. And if you want it to go up by a lot, just hold down the button. Now, there's only there's only uh, three output things on this, so we can only do three things at a time. So that's what we'll do. What else do I have? Magnesium. There we go. So we'll just set up those three items and we'll let, th we'll let them do their thing. And uh, the next thing I want to make is uh, my storage chest. So let's see where... We can find the storage chest, the depository, space debris chest. Oh, okay. Uh, available storage slots are 10. This one's 40. That's the one I want. So that's for iron and aluminum. Okay. So are we going to get 10 iron and 10 aluminum? I don't know. I don't think. Oh, maybe. Maybe. How many do we have so far? We've got the aluminum and we're pro we'll probably get the iron as well. Eight. Not. Yep. 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 One more. And then we can make ourselves a 40 slot chest, which is what I really want to do. All right. So, all right. 40 slot chest. That is right here. And it looks like a good spot for it. So let's go ahead and put it down. Hold it down. And there we go. We now have a chest. Very cool. Very cool. All right. So um, these things right here are unidentified cryptex. All right. Uh, class cryptex amount one. Status encrypted three chances. Now, I don't know what that means, but we're going to mess with one and see if we can uh, store an inventory or drop. No, can we not do anything with it? Or maybe it's because we're in a chest. Cannot swap items. All right. You guys are going to have to let me know what to do with these. I have no idea. I probably need some kind of... Uh, I probably need a uh, some kind of machine to put them in or something. Uh, I'm just going to store these in here for now. What the hell happened to my robot? Oh, he needs batteries. Okay, you can go screw. You know, you, what are you doing for me anyway? I'm, I think I have a couple batteries, but I'm not going to waste it on them. I mean, I'll start giving them batteries when they start making them, but... All right, so let's take a look here. All right, we're going to look at our skill points. We're going to call this one a video. So let's take a look here. All right, so we got some points here. I think we'll put a couple more in health. Uh, speed is still good. Hmm. Uh, two speed... Two of that and two stamina. We'll put the last one in health. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, we do have some points in engineering and science. Oh, we only have five points in science? Maybe we have to level up to get something. All the uh, all the uh, gas I collected didn't level me up. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure why, but uh, we'll look into that next video for sure. Uh, I'm going to try and level my science. All right, so what do I need here? What do I need? Okay, so um, combat is the one I have the most stuff, the most points for. So what do I want down here? Do I want walls? Nah. Do I want markers? I don't know. What's a marker do? Uh, unlocks the ability to craft markers. Markers are small flags show that you can claim an area. Don't really care about that. Uh, we got a bunch of weapons over here. So it looks like um, I do need uh, combat to make ammo for projectiles. So that's pretty cool. Maybe we should start going for, uh, for projectiles. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, what is this? Oh, okay. That's a crab... A crab scythe. Uh, you, you kill the crabs, you get their pieces, and you can make a scythe out of them. Machete, tactical knife, dragon's teeth. That all sounds really good. But uh, I think I'm going to go with crude metal axe, pistol, rifle. Ah, I can't do it yet. Okay, ran out of points. All right, let's take a look at engineering. Uh, what do we want for engineering? So we can go up this way. This is a lot of crafting and building of, of structures. This will give us some, uh, some barrels, uh, some containers. What is this? That's the multi-tool. We already have a multi-tool. Conduit Bender. I think the Conduit Bender is pretty good, but... Uh, we, yeah, I don't really know which way I want to go in engineering. I think I'm going to hold off on engineering for now, um, just because I'm not sure which way I want to go with it. If you have any uh, suggestions, by all means, let me know in the comments. But I think we are going to call this one here. Um, I'm very excited for this Let's Play, guys. I really need a map or uh, locations. I need locations of things like rubber trees diamonds, lithium, stuff like that, so I could decide where I'm going to live. Um, I think I want to live next to a rubber tree, um, because I heard there's only one, and if that's true, I definitely want to live close to the rubber tree. So if you guys can let me know of any any kind of locations or map, that would be wonderful. 
And uh, yeah, so um, if you want to see more of this, uh, more of this let's play, make sure to leave the thumbs up and all that good stuff. The comments, let me know how much you love this game and you want to see more. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. And until then, take it easy.